Hi, my name is Murthy of Maka. I'm an applications engineer for Keysight Technologies. In this video, I will discuss the most important considerations for a phase array system design. I used a simulation and modeling tool called System View to illustrate various steps in a phase array system design. At the end, you will be able to download the system view workspaces I used in the video. To begin, let us first understand heuristically how a phased array works. If we place a set of omnidirectional radiators along a line and observe the waves emanating from them in all directions, we can easily notice that the waves add coherently in some directions not so coherently in some other directions and incoherently in other directions. This creates a distinct pattern at a far away distance from the array where it becomes independent of distance. This pattern will have a main lobe, several side lobes and a back lobe. The pattern is called far field pattern. A three dimensional far field pattern of a 20 by 20 rectangular array can be seen here. The far field pattern and its characteristics are of utmost importance to baseband designers, RF designers, and antenna designers in a phased array system design. Why is the far field pattern so important? Let us see in the context of a 5G communication system. A base station is beaming signals to four users through four distinct beams. Each user is in turn has the ability to form a beam and receive the signal. In this case, the base station is operating in a shared mode where each user is utilizing all the elements of the base station. Let us measure the constellation and the error vector magnitude EVM of the received signal by each user. Here we are seeing the user 1 signal quality. We were expecting to see a very good constellation and very low EVM, but that's not the case. We wonder what could be the reason. Purely by virtue of phased array architecture, the side lobes of user 2 are pointing in the direction of user 1. Hence, user 1 is receiving not only the desired signal, but also an interferer from user 2. At this point, one can fix the problem by increasing signal to interference ratio by raising user 1 power. Or, one can go and then design user 2 far field pattern so that its side lobe is very low. It is clear now that far field characteristics dictate the performance of the entire system. 